Hello all, I am on the first project of building the rectangle for the room and I cannot put in the right formula for the right dimensions. It won't accept the way I type in the dimensions. Please help. Alright, so this question has been asked a couple of times in our courses and uh, students keep getting confused because other softwares generally you need to click on the measurement box to add in your dimensions but in SketchUp that's not how it works. So I'm going to delete Neeraj and I'll show you how to add the measurements when you're creating shapes with rectangle line or so on in SketchUp. So let's activate the rectangle tool or you can press R on your keyboard as well to activate the rectangle tool. Now I'm going to click once and I'm going to release the mouse key from the mouse. So I've just clicked and I've not done anything else. So now you can see that the function is still active. Now when the function is active, that's when you need to give the measurements. So I'm going to drag my rectangle here. I'm not going to click again. If you click, then you would create the rectangle. So you just need to click once, release the mouse key and sort of hover over which side you want to draw the rectangle. And now without coming here and clicking on the dimension box, this is what most students make the mistake of doing. You just need to type in the value when the command is active. So I'm going to type in say 1, 2. So the 1 meter it takes on the red axis and the 2 meter on the green axis. So let's do that again. So click once, release the mouse key from your keyboard. Now again, let me type in 4, 5 and press enter. So you can see it's 4 meters along the red axis and 5 meters along the green axis. You can also measure. So once you've done creating the rectangle, it's always a good idea to press the select tool by pressing the space bar on your keyboard and then you can activate the other commands. So I'm going to tap T on my keyboard to activate the tape measure tool. And I'm going to click once and just hover on the other side so you can see it's 5 meters. Now there's some more subtleties while using the VCB. It's called the value control box or the measurement box. So for example, if I'm going to make a rectangle, again, activate the rectangle tool. That's step one. Step two is click once. Do not press anywhere on the keyboard. And step three is to add your measurements. Now let's say, for example, you want to give it in inches. Right now, the units in SketchUp is in meters. So if you want to give it in inches, you just need to type four and then apostrophe, comma. And let's say I want to give 24 inches. So it's 24. And then double apostrophe. So now press enter. So now you can see that we've created our rectangle. You can also give it in feet and inches. So click once. Now let's say you want to give it in by one feet, six inches, comma, three feet, six inches, and then press enter. So you can see that it's one and a half feet on the red axis and three and a half feet on the green axis. Now let's say you want to only show the distance on the green axis. You can do that as well. I'm going to click once with the rectangle tool active. I'm going to type in the value, but this time I'm going to press comma first and then type in five and press enter. So now you can see that it gives the distance only in the green axis, which was five meters. And it takes the value of this from where the mouse is positioned. You can do the same for the red axis as well. So I'm going to activate the rectangle tool again, press R, click once. And without clicking anywhere, let's give the measurements again. So this time I'll type in 5, comma, enter. So you can see it goes 5 on the red axis. And the green axis was what? Where the mouse was positioned. Now this same functionality follows for the line tool as well. So when you click and drag, you can see the measurement changing here. You can also give the measurement after you've clicked. Now, for example, if I click here, without moving your mouse anywhere, I'm going to type in, say, 5 meters. 7 meters, 8 meters, so it changes in real time. How cool is that? So even if you make a mistake, if you've not deactivated the tool or clicked escape, then you can change the measurement. Please do not click on the measurement box. That's not how you do it. You just need to type in the measurements when the tools are active. And one last tool which I will show you is a circle tool. So if you activate circle by pressing C on your keyboard, you can see that sides are set at 24, which basically means how many sides the circle has. So if you click, then it changes to radius. So now you can give a radius of 4. Now if you want to change the sides after placing it, you can also type in, say, for example, 10. And then press S on your keyboard. So you can see it's 10 S and then press enter. So now you change the size this way as well. So if you type in 50 S, 
it changes to 50 sides. So you can either change the sides at the start of the function or towards the end as well. So if I activate the circle tool again, you can see the size is set at 24. Let's change it to maybe five. And now when I click, you can see it has only five sides, which is like a polygon. All right, if there's any more doubts that you guys have, please do leave your doubts in the comments and please do like and subscribe to our channel as we release more SketchUp tutorials and courses. We are more famous for our courses. We are trying to build up a good following on YouTube as well. So it would be great if you guys could subscribe and follow us on YouTube. See you guys in the next video. This is Manish signing off. Cheers.